Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good day today. It was a good day for me. <clears throat> uh, school and then I went to work for a couple hours. So, yeah. It was a good day. Um, what I wear today? Azaro Por Ohm. This one's nighttime. Now, I, I, <clears throat> I heard it's called nighttime here. And like Onyx. Everywhere else. Something to do with copyright, I'm assuming. Um... But uh, I guess they're the same scent, so pick one. Um, oh, he's smelling through the bottle. Typical is arrow. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, okay, how I wore it. Three in my moisturizer, one, two, one on the chest, one, two on the shirt, one in each crank of the elbow. Good amount, <clears throat> maybe a slight tad too much, but not 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 enough to really worry about it. Um, so that's how it worked. Um, performance, not too bad. Got about six hours out of it. Um, Creeping into that seventh hour mark, you know what I mean? After five, though, you could reapply. Just, yeah. Uh, compliments, never got any. Uh, but by the time I got to work, it was well with, into the dry down. So that was the only place I went today. So, But I asked a couple people, and they, they thought it was, again, I got clean, soapy, uh, fresh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, weird. Uh not weird, I guess, because I kind of get the same thing in that dry down where I was at, the mid into the dry down, but I'll come into that. <clears throat> uh, yeah, projection. Uh, well, for the first hour or so, pretty good about an arm's length out there, and then it kind of gives you a bubble for a few hours, and then it's a skin scent for a couple hours. So typical Azaro EDT, I guess. Um, Azaro Porom, I guess, EDT. Um, not great, but not bad. What did I get from it? That's the end of the day. Now, again, I'm not giving you notes and shit. I'm going to give you what I think I smell and could be right, could be wrong, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, I actually really like this opening. Again, it's another one. I like the opening, uh, quite a lot. It has similarities to my nose to, uh, Blue to Sea by Easy Miyake. The, 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 the sharp green scent uh that's what i get from this it's very sharp it's got some green i'd even say it's got some cypress in it but i could be wrong <clears throat> but what i'm not wrong about it is loaded to the tits to the tits with juniper it is dry it is somewhat sour giving you that gin and tonic vibe almost like just a dry liquor that kind of vibe dry fresh Slightly soapy <clears throat> gin liquor from that juniper. And it is the main note that I get off the top. And I really like that because it mixes well with the lime. Hence the gin and tonic. Mixes well with the lime that's in there. And this green apple is what's giving it a bit of that tartness. You know what I mean? Uh, and a tiny hint of sweetness. But it is mostly just a tart... Gin and tonic off the top, really. Uh, that underlying freshness, soapiness is there, and I don't know a slight spiciness. <clears throat> don't know what the spice is. Coriander, maybe, probably cardamom. A uh, couple other spices. Uh, in the mid, again, is where it starts that the uh, Azaro Porom original DNA really shines. It's not quite as barbershoppy as the other couple I've done. But it's uh, it's definitely got a bit of an old school. The whole scent has a bit of an old school feel to it. Uh, but not dated. So you can wear it easily. Um, yeah, geez. That, like I said, gin and tonic kind of vibe with the lime and the juniper. Really, really pop right off the top. <clears throat> yeah, and that's what you get from that. Like I said, the mid is more of a somewhat soapy slightly spicy aromatic type scent 
And then the dry down comes in and it's uh, it's a really nice dry down. It's fresh again. That juniper's still there. <clears throat> it's not the main player by any stretch, but it's still there. But you're really getting a lot of it's it's like a uh soapy, musky, almost grassy dry down. I'm gonna assume that's vetifer. <clears throat> It's one of the only few notes I know if you do it the right way, it gives you a grassy vibe. And this kind of has that, like a nice grass on a summer's day, you know. Surprisingly fresh scent for a uh, for, uh, woody aromatic barbershop type scent. Surprisingly fresh. Um, now, when I say fresh, it's not aqua de Gio or, or Bulgari aqua or, or even cool water kind of fresh it's a different kind of freshness it's a fresh clean <clears throat> boozy and when i say boozy i don't mean rum or whiskey i'm talking gin boozy which is a fresh liquor in itself you smell gin you know what i mean it's fresh it's uplifting um with the, the lime or the yeah the lime and then these fresh spices and a bit of that soapy cleanliness from the barbershop-esque feel and the green apple. and It's just a nice scent, guys. It's a fresh take. Um, I wouldn't even say it's a fresh take on the original. It's more just its own thing. It's a fresh kind of woody fougere scent, I guess, would be the boozy fougere. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm no expert. I just know I like it. Don't like it as much as it is. The last two, but I still, I'm still gonna wear it. Asaro so far has <clears throat> been hitting it out of the park. All right, guys, I'll be back tomorrow with uh, whatever the shelf decides. It's another Asaro because I still got like five to go. But all right, guys, peace, love, be good to each other.